Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jinxu. Let's talk about the problem 35 in chapter 3. In this one, this is still a project motion, but it is a little bit difficult because the initial velocity is an angle. So we can see it tells us a short quarter. Uh, so the initial, the, this, uh, the shoot and the initial position is 2.1 meter above the ground. So this one we know the y not right. And then the initial speed is, this one is given 14.4 with an angle. So this one is just an angle at, to the horizontal. So this is angle theta. And then it just moves this way. As you to find the horizontal distance traveled by the shoot. And the horizontal distance traveled, so this is x displacement, agree? And we can see, we know the initial velocity and angle, so we project this initial velocity into x component and the y component. We know Vox, or is Vox is just this v naught times the size, and the Voy is this a v naught times the, oh sorry v naught is v, v v o x is v naught cosine theta v o y is v naught times sine theta. Now this one we know the velocity at x component. We know we want to find displacement, so we must get time t. Do you agree? Yes. Since the time t is a bridge in x and y component, now we can say in the y component we know initial position. We know initial velocity and we also know acceleration is due to gravity, negative g. This is negative because the, uh, the gravity always pointing down. Then we choose positive, uh, we choose up as positive, so they must keep negative sign. The next one, in the finally the latch there, we know the final position is zero. Agree? So you can see we can find the time t in y component. Um, in this one, we know initial uh, position is zero and the initial velocity at the y component, acceleration in y component, and the final position at the end. So then we solve the problems and then, then we can find the time t. We input the known quantities, we find time t. There we have two choices about time t, but this one is negative, so we drop it. So then we just keep this one. After we know time t, we use the velocity at x component times the, the t, then we get the final answer. So for this problem, at the initial, you may think, oh, it is a little bit difficult. But when you solve the problem, you find, oh, it's not so difficult, right? Thank you.